Hey guys, McSan here, and well, we got a new trailer for the upcoming, uh, uh, upcoming little OVA or what, what series here, Gundam Requiem of Vengeance here, the whole CGI made in Unreal Engine 5 case okay, where we see the Zeons, and timing is weird, interesting here, like, uh, did they, the, 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 was this premiered in uh, San Diego Comic Con? Cause it's going on right now, and I'm just, a just asking here. Now, uh, I... Of course, I'm very uh, much... It's pretty much a spiritual... Okay, it's not a sequel, but it's pretty much a spiritual sequel to MS, uh, MS Igloo. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. And I know, I don't, as you guys know, I'm not a fan of Xeon at all. They can go to, they can go a bunch of hypocrites. They're a bunch of uh, hypocrite, bunch of vic hypocrite vic victim mentality assholes here. Oh, I mean, they got... One week, they accumulated more space-noid blood on their hands than the Earth Federation has in its entire existence, so... They should be wiped out. I still dream of one day maybe seeing a couple of Side 3 colonies get destroyed before, you know, because they accumulated so much karma. Like, I can wish. But that's neither here nor there here. I've spoken to that here. What I'm uh, concerned about here are the model kits. Okay, I mean, the ones I've seen so far are the scratch built. Like, the one, these were designed to look obviously like. I, I ask anyone here, those who uh, built the model kit here, the 144s or, and such, how to look? How does, like, uh, I'm, I'm talking about in a straight build. A straight build here and everything like that. No real paint job or anything. How does it appear? Like, because I don't know. I see some of this, some of the old pictures, and maybe it's my memory uh, twisting the facts to me, but it looks like almost something from the 90s, early 2000s in terms of quality. Hmm. I don't know. Most of the pictures I've seen recently have all been um, scratch built or the toys. So the actual consumer product. Oh well, that's what I wonder about. Uh, oh crap! Check the lot. All right, let's take a look here. Bandai Namco. Oh, should. This is English, so I'll just turn off the... Oh, wow! All right, we've seen this scene. Principality of Zia. Earth, okay. To take Earth away from the fight for the independence. Those abandoned space. Those? Huh. Huh, interesting. Outbreak of the war? Ooh. A white devil appears. A white devil indeed. Whoa! That's... Yes! Oh, look at that! A white devil. It already has! Jim? We need a gym! Okay! Run! Run! The Fed. That's what Doc should do! We will! It's our home! Because humanity moved to space, we've acquired Zaku Ooh. We've never needed before. Uh, okay, here we go. Evolving into a species that can understand the true intent behind actions. New type ability. New types, huh? Isn't me. All have our duties. Whoa! You know that, Alfie. It's uh, yeah, it's it's psionics. Stop the Gundam. Bold claim. Ah, oh, they had to bring up new type at this point here. At this point, the legend is spreading and everything. They're, they're psionics. Also, moving to space. Well. The fact is, it did help, but something that would have happened regardless. 
In the end, moving to space is just a small nudge. Just a small nudge at best. Hey! Char was born in space here, and born and raised in space here, and he didn't, and he still was nothing compared to Amuro Ray, who was Amuro and Camille. They were born on Earth, lived for a little while here, their childhood before. Well, actually, we don't know how, how, how? All right, Amuro moved to space when he was like six years old, or something like that, but Camille? When did Camille went from Earth to one of the colonies? I don't, I don't think they were specified that, but they do. It's confirmed that he was born on Earth. And look how powerful he, those two are. Hmm. Also, intent clearly plays a, pa plays a, plays a pattern here because whew, Amuro and Camille were driven by, well, their own things here, but certainly a lot better things than what Shar was, which was at first petty vengeance. I mean, he abandoned his sister and everything for that. Anyhow, so yeah, we keep, we see that. Okay, We've seen. That. Again, I'll be curious here. Like, didn't they say this? A lot of this will take place inside the cockpit of a Zaku. Yeah, like there it is. I, I keep. I really like the details here. It. It looks like they're trying to stick to how the Zaku cockpit was originally envisioned, back in the seventies, early eighties. But they did modernize a few things here and there. Uh, it's it's understandable because again, uh, J Japan is not beholden to Kantakanicity like in the West. Let me see. Look, let me put back on. It's auto in English, auto generated. So never trust that. Music. That music is going to be copyright claimed. Earth, yeah, Earth, uh, month please, I'm assuming this is early on, maybe the, because, let's see, there were like, what, was there, how many, um, uh, drops did Xeon did again, I think, yeah, there was a second, I think there must have been a total of three, I could be wrong, just, and there were just two drops on Earth. The of Zion. Okay, but I like this here. We see the, Z the Zaku, obviously, I'm assuming these ones here are supposed to be, like, regular, more or less regular. The shield could have been improved, though. But, yeah, red, sh red shoulder invoking up, you think, oh, like, Char, Char, and Red Comet, Crimson Lightning, but no, like, they, they, this was clearly also meant to reference the, uh, the red shoulders of Votomes. But, yeah, I mean... They're green. They're, those mechs are green with red shoulders. This mech is green with red shoulders. Cool. And get, oh, we got the sniper We're rifle. Away from a fight for the independence of Space Noid. Those abandoned in space. Yeah, I like that here. Those abandoned in space here. No, don't. Do, yeah, side three. Side three here because. <laughs> uh, certainly not the words of people from side two and side five. Side four? You know, those sides here? I mean, side six was smart and even declared neutrality here. Uh, I think, was it side one also attacked? It's, or was it advantage to keep, I don't know. They're gonna do whatever they can. Mm -hmm, the kick, robot kicking tank. To stop I love that here. It's like, yeah, we, we've seen, one of the things I hate about people Saying how tanks beat Max here, it's like, dude, these Zaku's were made with that in mind here. They can take the shot of a tank. We've seen them in MS Igloo, even even at like point blank, they can take the shot pretty well here. But that said, get enough of them, and they can they can indeed destroy a Zaku here. They actually have they actually have held the line once they once they develop mobile suit tactics as well as fighting in Minovsky, uh dense areas. But mainly it was always fighter planes that defeated the Za that really defeated the Zakus. Plus Perhaps none more so than Plus Zeon had their own vehicles. They had their tanks, they had their own fighters, they had the like the recon Wapas things, and really those 
Really, I still remember the episode where that guy planted bombs around Gundam that could have destroyed it. So yeah, it's like they were not invincible, but they were tough. And really, they were under a handicap because they were on Earth. They're not they they're just they were meant to be space superiority weapons. They dominate in space. But here on Earth, while they were versatile enough here, they were clearly hampered. Hell, uh regular Zaku this is this is weird actually. Like the type F can only only run up to eighty eight kilometers an hour. A type the uh, Type 61 tank here, the Federation, the twin barrel things, 90 kilom- kilometers per hour. And what's weird is the, t- the J-type. The J-type Zaku. The ground-type Zaku. 85 kilometers an hour? Huh. I guess uh, sacrifice some speed for stability on the ground. Hmm. The- 11 months after the outbreak of the war. So it's almost over here. By this point in time, it's like J- the, the attack on Jaboro would have already happened and failed. Certainly Odessa happened and failed. I got to look like Odessa. November. Yeah. Yeah. No, Odessa. Operation Odessa was on November. For context, people, the war started on the 3rd of January. So in case you want, so yeah, in case you want a date, and I, and I always want dates here. I love, ta- I love to have de- time stamps, date stamps, that kind of stuff. It really helps, like, figure out where everything is. So yeah, 11 months, it's, so yeah, the uh, Operation Odessa happened, probably failed, and then... Jaboro would have happened the same month, I believe. That failed, and so it begins Operation Star One here to finally end the war. Face, Neeland. Not get revenge. What the hell is th- the White Devil here? So again, it, uh, that makes perfect sense here. It's like you, Zeon called it the White Devil. That was what, that's what they call the Gundam, and obviously. Federation discovered that here, especially with some defectors from Zeon. So they capitalize on that here. Psychological warfare. This pure white mobile suit here with the face of the Gundam and the red eyes. Yeah. And still powerful. I've been up in touch. Delta, get out of there! The mo- it's incredible mobility there. I think, the, I think it was stated that the Gundam can reach uh, on the ground speed 105 kilometers an hour. It's got armor we can't scratch. Luna Titanium Alloy, which pretty much that here. It's the 120 meter high explosive rounds of the Zaku machine gun were used against it. I think that's also why Zeon... Like, I think the 90, the, the whole 90 millimeter mach, uh, machine gun that they switched to. I think that, those were armor piercing. They dropped the high edge to focus on penetration. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. Did that happen? Did that canonically have an effect? Canonically. Yeah, we've got the beam. We've seen the beam weapons there, like the beam saber. It's got beam weapons that come. Look at that. Yes. Oh, that was, that had, tell me, that was a reference to, the, to when Amuro cut the arm of the guff. Cut right through our Zaku. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, this point in time, the Zaku is dated. Like, even the aces and veterans knew that the Zaku had become up, like, pretty much kind of old and old and such here. Heck, I, I, Johnny Wright even said here, like, they're trying here, the high mobilities, but... Mm-mm. Sorry, the Zaku 2 had be- became pretty much... Eh, last, almost last year's model, just a few months into the war, give or take. The Gundam. I've been hearing stories about it. I love that here with the molten metal, stuff like that. Ho, ho, ho. 
I can't believe it. The Gundam, yep. Federation's new mobile suit. This could turn the tide of the war. So it's interesting as well how they talk about Federation's new mobile suit. How cut off were you guys here from the from the rest of the war, rest of the front here? Because, all right, uh, they had a Southeast Asia front, which they tested very uh, rushed models of mobile suit here, field testing, like the ground gym and the ground Gundam. And then we had the white base here with the gun, with the white base and the and the and other machines here, like they accumulate combat data. Especially the Gundam here was learning computer. I th yeah, that that would have been incredible at the time here to think a computer that that m remembers what remembers in such here. It's like nowadays, it's like uh, yeah, all computers do that. And we have we are looking at a gym, which it's got the handles. On a shoulder, so it makes me think: Is this a, is this a uh, refitted ground gym? It's got Vulcan at the top of its head. Nice. When you face the Gundam, you're gonna wish you had a Zaku in front of you. I can promise you that. Not really. Not really. No. <laughs> no. 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 I mean, if, if it's the only thing I have, I'll take it to run. That's what I'll do. I'll freaking run because pick your battles. Pick your battles here. You do. You cannot win. I mean, with what? My Zaku machine gun? You say will I wonder if we'll get the confusion as well here. Like, people will think that's the Gundam because that was also a bit of a thing that. Last for a bit here, it's like when the gyms rolled out, they think it's a Gundam or stuff like that when... Mm -mm. And I like how Just, it's held up here because yeah, the, the gyms are made with titanium. The Zakus are made with freaking steel. Super hard steel. I, I, I like to know how hard is it compared to regular steel, but... And I, I really want to see just one shot from the gym's spray gun destroy it. Because the thing as well, like, the gym gets such a bad rep, but really, it was a good mobile suit for the time here. It's And it's beam spray gun. Like, it's people say, oh, it's a pea shooter. Pew, pew. That pea shooter could have, could have easily one shot a dom. And that was the most heavily armored mobile suit of the time. So it's don't underestimate the gym here. By all rights, that gym is superior in every way to the Zaku. Even the only problem is, of course, is the pilot. A lot of these pilots here are still new. They still, especially those on Earth, they still haven't really gotten used to manually mobile suit, combat, and stuff like that. While Zeon, they got more experience. People. Come back and kill my people. <laughs> I love that. Shooting. Uh, shot the shield up. Oh, I, right through. Because, yeah, like, they... They would not have anti-beam coating on those things yet, would they? I mean, granted, it, it shot the back. Sniped it off. People, Doc. I'll save anyone on the battlefield. That includes you. Yeah. That's what a... Doctor does. In the end, there is no real, like, enemy or such. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's in the Atlantic Federation Treaty. Sorry. Atlantic Federation. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That, that's a seed. I apologize for that. The Antarctic Treaty. I'm pretty sure it's in that here where... Carried over from Geneva, carried over from Geneva Conventions. If they did, they have the Geneva Conventions here. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, like medical prisoners of war treated with respect here, no matter what, and so they're treated and healed. A lot of people did not obey those things, of course. Here, like hey, we are Thunderbolt, the manga. When Eo Fleming was captured here, he was beaten up for a few times for an officer to come in and say, "Hey, that's illegal under against the treaty." 
Not, not to forget what freaking uh, Makuve did. Includes you. It's all gone. Yeah, pretty much. It's our home. Because humanity moved to space, we've. And okay, and so yeah, now it's the pretty much the big retreat. I like how we're we're getting a regular Z Zaku one and. All right, uh, one of the complaints I heard about this is how the head looks like it's so shrunken, and I'm looking at this and. All right, even though I'm not a fan of Zeon Mobile Suit, I really couldn't care, but. Why is the head so, like, no, it's too, it's just, it's, just, it's like, okay, in Gundam Breaker 4, the Bebea, they established that you can, like, change the scale of every piece here. It looks like someone did that with a Zaku. It's weird. Though, so, yeah, like, can you at least make that a little bit more, like, it should be a little bit, uh, it, it's freaky. It, it's just freaking. It's freaking me out a bit here. I, I'm looking at this Zaku right here. That Zaku, and yeah, its head looks about right. So yeah, they're uh, they they are evacuating. Uh, which base is this here? P uh, please tell me it's a new one here. You think uh, California base, maybe? Which apparently California base was actually bases. I did. I did not know that. It's actually, a, multi a bunch of multiple bases all in that. All in one, so that then that explains why there are so many fronts. So many that's a, that would be so many side stories that all accumulate in California base. <laughs> but yeah, there could be other bases around the area here, other outposts. Now you're talking about the new tides and such. We got a Gulf Custom, and I have to admit, this was a surprise. That's the that's the one from MS Igloo. But I thought they stopped. But they thought th th they canceled that project here after this bold quote unquote leak. Trader and everything like that, which was not at all, but watch series. Huh. I love that here, how it slides. It, it does a slide. Yes! That's how agile the mobile mobile suits are here. Like it can actually make like a freaking Baseball sl slide, sl leg slide to the base. <laughs> that guy's an ace. That guy, he has to be an ace in order to have a Gulf Custom, and he just showed it. All right, it's her again, of the main character, and it looks like she had to replace her shield. But still, probably not a damn thing. And now she's talking about new times and everything. And this move right here, it's like, what? Parry the bullet? What, is she a new type? Are they implying that she's a freaking new type? If so, I'm surprised she could get that kind of that kind of performance from her machine. You know that, Alfie. I will stop the Gundam. No, you won't. That is terrifying, though, with that damaged... Oh. The real question is, who's a pilot? All have our duties. You know that, Alfie. I will stop the Gundam. Lobo has, like, four... Vulcan and the vault the this one right here looks like it's it's out of commission here. Look how look how bent out it is. So that, that's that's a very nice detail. Oh no, you won't. I uh, oh, and I think oh yeah, look at that, V fin broken as well. <laughs> Ooh. And low I can see it now, modelers and such custom custom designs will start make will take the high grade 
and make it battle damage. Look, look, oh, the battle damage here and everything. Wow. I really hope she dies. Don't, like, fail to stop the Gundam and get everyone killed. Because, well, hey. Uh, one of the things you always complain about is, is how you killed my friend! You killed my ally! Yeah, welcome to war! Welcome to war! How many how many of enemies you killed that had friends and family and all that shit? What, did you really think you could enter this war and the guy next to you won't die? Like, did they not teach you this in basic? Like, the guy best next to you here? Yeah, your friend, trust him, but be warned, he could die. This could die here. When you go to the battlefield, that could be your grave. Did they not teach you that? Did, you know, boy, I know they didn't. They all they did they probably think this is divine right here. You all you all come to victory, blah blah blah. I don't know. <sighs> we'll see. So guys, thank you all for watching. As always, who caught all of you all thought here? Oh, I can't wait for this comes out on Netflix. I got a lot of things to watch between Hathaway's Flash, Seed Freedom, now this. Woo! My schedule's gonna be full. So until then, it's Maxan. See you guys next time.